Well, this morning, News 5 is following through on the major disparities when it comes to those diagnosed with cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, African Americans have a higher cancer burden and they face greater obstacles. In addition, they have the highest death rate and shortest survival of any ethnic group for most cancers here in the U.S. A local nonprofit that aims to help comfort has taken notice and it's working to bridge that gap. Well, Mike Holden joins us live with how the gathering place is making a difference. Good morning, Mike. Guys, good morning to you and hearing those statistics firsthand, it really opens your eyes and says, wow, a lot of work needs to be done. And that is exactly the case right here at the gathering place here in Beechwood. They say with the boots on the ground approach, they are getting directly out into the communities, changing the narrative and working to bring more people here as they say each and every person should have a chance in their health matters. And they said, you have cancer and you'll have to have surgery. That news would forever change the life of longtime Northeast Ohio resident and uterine cancer survivor, Leslie Harris. Everything I did was punctuated by that diagnosis. And that says hope. Mm -hmm. She felt lost and not sure where to turn until one day a nurse suggested a place she'd never been, the gathering place here in Beechwood. It would help her find light and establish a support system in the form of the Sister Circle and other programs. One of the things that particularly touched me was that there was a group for African Americans. And I thought, wait, so there's a community within a community the gathering place became a safe space, a personal oasis for her and others in the fight for their lives, as well as those who have won the battle. It has brought me so much uh, joy. Gathering Place CEO Michelle Serranian and her team wanted to extend their reach and further their impact, especially when it comes to bridging the gap for health disparities in the area. Yeah, you know, we're all aware within the African American community in particular, some of the um, inequities. They analyzed data and uncovered that nearly 2,000 people within the city of Cleveland are diagnosed with cancer each year. Ward 5 showing the highest rate for all cancer types. They made it their mission to get out into the communities with the boots on the ground approach. We interviewed over 80 individuals. We did two focus groups. We talked to community leaders and this was all through a grant from the Cleveland Foundation. You're dealing with a person, not a check mark not a number. Conversation and visibility were critical. Sydney Beeman, community programming manager at the gathering place, noticed there was systemic racism, a lack of trust in the medical system, lower interest and clear stress from residents. She immersed herself in more than 50 events. We need to just go back and make sure people are aware that they're doing lift that up and empower them and encourage them. The gathering place listened and made immediate changes, updating community programming, hosting lunches in neighborhoods and reestablishing understanding. We are here to serve all, be it here in our four walls or what could we do to engage out in the community. And you know, Michelle was very candid who you just heard from moments ago. Michelle said that she is out there in the community rebuilding trust and they are actually seeing a turnaround of events. In fact, more clients, more people coming right here to the gathering place in Beechwood. But she says the work is not done. In fact, they are going to continue fundraising because they want to create a mobile unit of sports. They want to have some sort of vehicle that they can take out into the community with a cancer library, a wig salon, all the resources you find here, but to different locations and they say they need your help to be a part of that process. Mike. Yeah, it is really important to have that community support and we have a chance to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there are two big events coming up. Race for the Place, which is their huge race that they do every summer. That's in June. You can buy tickets and register now. And then they also have a Battle of the Bartenders event that's actually happening this coming weekend. All proceeds go back to the nonprofit as well as to that mobile unit. They say they are just getting the work done now and they will continue to do so as they work to impact lives each day. It's, oh, go ahead. it's great to see them doing that outreach. Thank you.